okay? You can see that it's round, 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 and then flat. And exactly where the head becomes flat is what we would call the top, or the round of the head. So what you've got is the side panels are sectioned off, but you've only got the area that's flat, which means that you're building weight on something that's already flat. Right? And bear in mind, we, are, we only want to build weight when the head's round. Right? So if we're building weight on an area that's flat like this, it can transform mm. one hairstyle with the click of a finger. Okay, the belly of the clippers comes straight out from the head, not down here. Because notice how if I do this, unfortunately the teeth aren't catching any hair. The clipper must be inverted, nice in line with the hairline here. And we bring the clipper on right on up to that graduate line. See the way the hair is coming this way? All I'm doing is bringing the clipper parallel to meet it. Yeah, unfortunately if I don't do that, I may not catch the hair with my clipper. And the two will become pointless, won't actually do anything. As long as the graduation is in place guys, this should become quite easy. So notice how up and down motion with the clip on. Right on up to number two there. Make sure the head is tilted off to the side as always. What I'm going to do is come out where the number two is. Bring the point five right up to that number two line and just come out with the number two. So the point five is going in, like so. And we bring in the zero right off any little strap that's underneath it. Zero, right past the zero, zero line. Underneath where I brought the point five. And again, same thing, using that more of a flicking motion. Okay, and the fade's nearly done. All right, that's just the point five and the zero.